can we not honor her? Marie Scondé deserves to be honored by us because she has a broad view of humanity, at the same time centering on the Black experience. She's always been very honest about any misgivings or disinterest in certain currents of thinking and culture. She is one of the rare artists bridging the gaps between the whole Black diaspora. She gives support to Black histories, to Black lives, to Black culture, you know, African culture. I want to thank you for helping my son at a time when he was being taunted for being African, for reminding him of where he came from. She embodies the world. The breadth of her global experience at a time when we didn't speak about Black women as belonging to the world, for me, that is remarkable. Thank you very much for your gift of writing. You are what I dream of being. I was granted the rights, and that was one of the happiest moments in my um, entire career or life that I could uh, you know, become a publisher of such a great author. There we are now. Uh, this is uh, this is the book that already came out. I have just read The Wondrous and Tragic Life of Ivan and Ivana. I've got so many favorite things. Oh, it's so rich, so vibrant. You are learning things all the time. Thank you for this last novel, especially. There's one scene there, a menage a trois. I thought if you could write that in your 80s, well, so can I. And you don't dress up issues. You don't protect us from that hard realities. And I walked away from your book with that kind of boldness. And I'm thinking, oh yeah, I can do that too. Thank you for what you mean to the African literary community, for your work, for your wisdom. To Mama Maris Conde, this tribute is for you.